No, it's not creepy at all. You know, um, word of advice to the creators of this movie. Y'all don't need to make any more of these movies. No more. Just stop. That's my advice to you. Please take it. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, I want to thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Jigsaw, the latest movie in the Saw franchise. This is the eighth film in this franchise. And like I said in my intro, they don't need to make any more of these movies. This is being directed by the Spirit Brothers, and I have never heard of them before. Um, by name, I've seen some of their films. They did something called Daybreakers that came out in 2009 with uh, Ethan Hawke. And uh, what is his name? Uh, I was going to say Dane DeHaan. It's not Dane DeHaan. It's the guy that played Green Goblin in the Spider-Man in 2002 version with Sony or whatever. I forgot his name, and I'm not going to look it up. Um, and that movie was okay. It was very forgettable. I just remember it now because I had to look it up because I wanted to do um, this review. But like I said, this is the eighth film in the Saw franchise. I think the first one came out in 2004. I absolutely love that film. I remember um, I was in school back then in college and I went to go see it with a friend of mine, a young lady. And I remember when the, the last frame of the movie came and Jigsaw shut the door, we were just like, just shocked you know like shocked beyond belief because we just couldn't believe what we just you know partook in or whatever it was a great movie um part two was great too uh it was right there with part one part three was okay part four and five were just garbage trash i hated those i was just like oh this is horrible don't make it no more and then part six came back and part six was actually pretty good had a lot of redeeming qualities i was like all right you know they said they got one more saw movie coming after this and then part seven came out and I was highly disappointed. It was just all, all over the place. And I'm just like, y'all are just reaching. Don't make any more of these movies. And I thought the Saw franchise was dead, but they wanted to, you know, hit the holiday season with a new one called Jigsaw. And um, it's not as bad as four and five, but it's just not it's just not good. I mean, one thing that made the original Saw movie so wonderful um, is the sense of realism that it had in the movie. And plus, it was so simple. It was just two guys locked in a room with chains, you know, wrapped around their ankles. And they had a camera in there with a couple of, you know, recording devices and a saw or whatnot. And one or two saws. And that was it. I mean, that is very believable. A very cheap budget. You know, it's realistic. Like I said, I, you know, you're sitting there watching a the movie and you're saying to yourself, wow, I mean, this can really happen if somebody was really just that crazy and deranged and was a, a lunatic. You know, this th kind of thing would happen. I'm not wishing it upon anybody. But besides the movie being good, that's just one of the things that made it that good is just it wasn't that complicated. It was simple. It was a small location. And, you know, I loved it. But, you know, when sequels come out, they have to just take things over the top over and over and over and, you know, just get away from the ground roots that made the thing great originally. And that is exactly what I have a problem with with Jigsaw and why this movie fails miserably. I mean, it started out very interested, interested, interesting, and I was into it. But scene after scene, I just, you know, lost more and more interest and it was just very frustrating. The very first thing that I noticed, the first traps or whatever, I would have said to myself, who in the world has time to do this and who has the resources? Whoever it is, this jigsaw or this person or this person. And if you've seen the past films, you know that it end up being more than one person and, you know, jigsaw got some help. But I'm like, man, the people that are putting these traps together and jigsaw have like a million dollars at their disposal with tons of resources with like a PhD in engineering and all that good stuff. I mean, like it was just like I, there is just no way that this is just realistic or whatever. I mean, all of the traps and just it was just dumb and over the top and just completely unnecessary. And that's just what was frustrating. Man. I'm like, OK, I understand that you're trying to teach your victims a lesson because they live crappy lives. OK, you know, I get that. I mean, and, you know, like. 
one thing that you know with movies is they try to take a uh, situation that you can relate to and then put a different scenario to it or whatever like we just got geostorm or whatever and that had to do with global warming global warming is a thing right now in the news some people believe is real some people don't believe is real i personally do believe that global war- global warming uh is real created by human uh, uh, interactions or whatever and i'm not just going to dive into that but they use that realistic uh sense of our life and put it into a movie or whatever and if you want to uh, make the same similarity with jigsaw is you know there are people out there in the world that are despicable and you know they there's just no justice a lot of people get away with it and that's where jigsaw comes in or whatever because he wants to punish those people and i'm not saying to myself that hey you know people that do bad things and get away with murder and you know rape and robbery and all of this and beating people that you know we need to put them in jigsaw saw traps or whatnot you know but i do give the film credit for at least trying to link it that way so you know you can have some type of relation to it but with all the traps they had in this movie, I'm just like, this is just so over the top. I mean, my goodness gracious, it, it just would have took like, you know, t- t- 10, 20 people, like I said, with all the resources, all the degrees and all the money in the world at their disposal. And I would just say, it's just it's dumb. I mean, if you just want, if you're going to go through all this, I'd rather you just kidnap the person that was doing wrongdoings or other innocent people and just beat them with a hammer or something. Or just leave it, lock them in the closet and make them starve to death or something. I, I don't know. But all the traps in this movie, I'm just like, this, this is just silly and over the top. As far as the characters are concerned, um, of course, you know, these are low budget movies. And I wonder how much the budget was for this. And I'm going to go ahead and look that up while I'm uh, reviewing this or whatever. But I was just saying to myself, like, OK, the act, the acting in this movie is just not the best. Um, it wasn't bad over, you know, the whole course of, you know, over the whole range of the whole. Ca- oh, they sp- they spent $10 million on this. Um, that's not too expensive. You know, uh, the cheapest movies in Hollywood come to about four to five, four to five million dollars. Um, but this is Timmy and that's not much. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to make their money back. And I would have to say that, you know, it probably just went to all the effects that they were trying to pull off. And, you know, it probably um, is a waste of money. Uh, but the acting across the board, it's OK. I mean, these are a bunch of known, uh, no, non-popular actors and actresses that are just trying to, you know, get their foot in the door. I respect it and have no problem with it, you know, but there were some scenes where they're just trying to, you know, act all scared like, oh, we got to work together. And I'm just like, you know, dude, calm down. I mean, but, you know, I really can't tell you to calm down because you're about to die. Um, But as far as like the characters working, you know, like with each other, um, I just don't understand. This movie Jigsaw gives the phrase pride, too much pride will kill a man. It gives it new meaning because like all, a lot of the characters in this movie just had too much pride. I mean, it was just ridiculous. I, I just don't understand. I mean, you are you are literally about to die in the worst way possible and you still want to hang on to your pride. I, I'll give you like a little. Well, it's not really a spoiler, but. You know, with Jigsaw or whatever, he just wants people to, uh, you know, own up to their sins or whatever. And one one little scene, one, you know, all they had, he was like, look, you'll be free. All you have to do is confess your sins. That's it. All you have to do is confess your sins. And like, you know, nobody wants to do it. They just want to try to find every other reason. I mean, I don't care. I'm not confessing this to my mom or dad or family or friends or loved one. These are perfect strangers. I don't give a crap what they think about me and why should you? But they just want to hold on to their pride and just not confess. And I'm just like, man, like, you know, I'm beyond this or whatever. I don't like stupid characters in movies. But if you want to have like one or two characters like that, you know, okay. I mean, because we know that there are people like that in the real world. But when you have every single character like that, I mean, hey, but I guess that's just a movie or whatever, because nobody would be in these traps if they were innocent. But these are all just despicable people and despicable people, for the most part, you know, don't want to confess their sins or whatever. But it was just very frustrating as I'm, I'm watching, you know, that a lot of times these people had, you know, a good valid. Um, well, I don't want to say valid, but you know, they had a good chance of saving themselves, but they just didn't want to put their pride aside. And that really did annoy me. Um, something else that really just ticked me off was, wait a minute. I don't want to talk about that. Well, I'll say this. I put myself in the situation. 
I mean, have you ever heard the phrase to where, okay, there's a lot of division in the country right now. There's a lot of division in the world. You know, we got this war, this war. You know, these people don't like these people. It's a bunch of stupidity. And you always hear people saying, like, it would take an alien invasion for the, you know, for humans to band together and put their petty differences aside or whatever. And again, these characters did not want to do this in this movie for some reason. I mean, if I'm waking up and I have a, a bucket on my head with a chain around my neck and it's pulling me to a blade, I don't care if I wake up and we have, you know, uh, Adolf Hitler over here, the, you know, Grand Dragon KKK leader over here, the spawn of Satan and somebody else that I hate. We are all about to die. We we can let's work together, put our differences aside for 60 seconds and get out of this. You know, we can fight later or whatever. But no, I'm just not going to be doing that. I'm, I'm going to work together. And the characters are just not doing this in this movie. And it's just like really frustrating. I just couldn't get behind it. And another thing is just like what really pissed me off is is this movie was not simple and it could have been, but it was just too complicated. And when these characters are going through these traps in this movie, like it was the, 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 the writers behind this, um, they didn't think it through at all. There was plot holes galore. I mean, there was just no rhyme or reason or sense that you can make out of the whole thing or why these traps will work. They gave the people that were in these traps too many options. It's like, how do you know that these characters, like, I'm, I'm going to set it up for you. Okay. You have this big house, right? And let's say the house has just five rooms and all the characters are going to start in room A and just work the way to room B to room C to room D to room E, A, B, C, D, E. I can't do my alphabet or whatever. So let's say it, they're in room D or whatever. There could be a trap for like, you know, let's just call a character Harry or whatever. How did you know that Harry would survive in uh rooms a b and c or whatever or how did you know that diane was going to survive in room a to get to b or whatever and then the plot or whatever depended on them surviving so that just didn't make sense because they gave them too many options or whatever it was it was just they did not think it through or whatever and that was just like really pissing me off and then they just try to do all these twists and turns or whatever like not you know it, this is a guessing game this is somewhat of a mystery or whatever and you're trying to find out who's behind it and if you watch the trailers people are like oh my gosh is it jigsaw it can't be jigsaw he's been dead for 10 years or whatever so you know even when they do reveal who the person is behind a person or persons that are pulling all the strings behind the scenes or whatever they're still just throwing it in your face like you still don't know who could be the real person you think is this person but it could be this person over here it could be becky it could be shaniquia it could be robin it could be you know trevor it could be you know darren or, or, or whatever and it's just like i mean it's just too much you are just trying too hard to impress the audience right here and the more you're doing this you're just making the film worse and worse and worse because when it first started out i was into it i was like okay you know and this is about a good eight and then it dropped down to like a seven i'm like okay now then that is like a 5.5 5. and i'm like man it's just like getting more ridiculous and ridiculous and more ridiculous ridiculous and then at the very end when they try to pull the twist on y'all just like this is stupid i don't care like you did not fool me i mean this is whack it doesn't make any sense and this was not clever at all um i am not impressed um and I, i'm not impressed about this movie i don't want to even say that i'm disappointed because i just was i wasn't looking forward to it in the first place but i wanted to go into it with an open mind and give it a chance and i did that and um it still let me down if I had to rate Jigsaw out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 3 out of 10. Yes, a 3 out of 10. I was going to give it a 4. Like, when I was walking, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go and give this a 4. But, you know, as I was driving home and, you know, prepping for this video, I'm just like, yeah, this is a, this is a 3 out of 10. It was just too many plot holes and just like, the you know, that house scene or whatever, because that, that's where the majority of the film takes place. I mean, there it, it were just too many options. There was no way in, the, in hell the person behind the screens behind the scenes could have been pulling all the strings and and uh you know uh knowing that they would survive to get to the next room but guys that's just my opinion have you seen jigsaw do you want to see it have i turned you on have i turned you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing 
if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you don't like the video that's fine just leave me a comment below why and still give me a thumbs up since you're watching this video on youtube go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel become one of my subscribers so you can get all the content that i have to provide i know you can't see the number of subscribers i have because i hit it and i will be revealing that number when i've reached this milestone that i want so go ahead and be part of the family and of the mystery and subscribe i would really appreciate it you can click the bell so you can be notified when i do make uploads also go to my website check me out there bookmark it i do have written reviews and look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy for by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review of this disappointing movie well not disappointing bad movie of jigsaw the eighth in this saw franchise and before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.